Okay, and it's been about 20 minutes since I uh, put a coat on this. It is uh, dry and it's fine. And uh, I went back, I see a little spot here and a little spot up here that I'm gonna sand. So I'm gonna step away and do that real quick so that I don't contaminate my little workspace here. Uh, it'll just take a second. So all good, again, making sure there's no dust from the sanding process. So one thing I've noticed on these, this, uh, this, it's, these are birch cradle panels and the natural wood really uh, absorbs the uh, wasp medium that I use. So I might even do three coats on the side of that. Uh, two is usually sufficient, so I just noticed that, though. It still feels quite like uh, natural wood. And this time, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the edges first. I went around this way the first time. I'm going to go this way just to make sure I'm really getting everything. And you can see, if you, especially when you do the surface, if you hold the artwork at an angle, you can see if you're missing a spot and you really don't wanna do that. I guess if you did two or three coats, it would probably be okay, but better just to pay attention as you're going and make sure that you get everything, uh, kind of an even coat. Really important to dry the artwork flat. Again, you saw that I elevated it. That's important so that it doesn't stick to your surface. But you don't want to try to do this and then have the artwork hanging vertically because what will happen is that some parts of the gloss medium will inevitably run and uh, you will get drips down the front of your artwork. And that I think that would probably could sand it, but again, just best to avoid that entirely. So that feels pretty rough, actually. I may, after that second coat, I may just sand the sides with very, very fine uh, paper and uh, then do another coat or two. It's just, I, I want it to feel like it's got a finish on it. So again, I'm gonna do the now this is where it'll get tricky with making sure that there are no drips on the side because I've done the sides first and now I'm doing the surface. And you don't want, you know, you, you don't want to be stingy with the medium and water combination, but you don't want to leave puddles. You just kind of want a uniform coat and that looks pretty good. You don't want bubbles either. You notice when I, uh, started working with this, I had had this mixed up so it sat for a while. And before I opened the container, I sh stirred it, if you will, like this. You could use uh, a bamboo steak or, you know, just a little stirring stick or something like that as well to make sure that, but you don't want to shake it up and get a bunch of air bubbles in it because then you're going to have bubbles on the surface of your artwork and on the sides of your painting, which you surely don't want. So, all right. I think that's going to be plenty for the surface of this artwork. And uh, like I say, may do a second coat on the sides, just, or a third coat, excuse me, on the sides, just to uh, ensure that they feel like they've got a finish on them. So I, again, I'm gonna put it on my surface and let it dry, and then do a third coat on the sides, and this will be done. I'll wire it and prepare it to hang, and this is gonna be donated to a fundraiser here. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.